What's good, YouTube? It's your boy YPD Wilds, man. Back with another NBA 2K build for you. Now, this build, like, I've been trying to make cheesy builds. This build can be used for park. It can be used for pro-am. This is like an offset build. This is a great build to make if you're going to be running with a bunch of shooters, whether the shooter is power forward or the, whether the power forward shooter or a center shooter. Um, this, is a, this, this is a great build for that. Um, as you can see, I just loaded into the, uh, well, Ben had the screen up for the My Player build. I ain't say I just loaded into it. As you see in the bottom of the screen, it says, say no to slow big men. Like I said, I've seen a lot of people talking about they making paint bees. They got they guys, a demigod is, but they got a 30-something speed. We're going to focus in on strength, speed, and acceleration for this build. So with that, we're going to rock with the, uh, we're going to go with the power four position. At first, I thought it's. At first, I thought I was gonna make it a center, even a small four. But we're gonna go with the power four position, and um, you can take a look at the pie charts and just watch me scroll through the pie charts. And in this video, I'm a. I'm not gonna go detail for detail uh, about what I chose, the badges I chose, upgrades, and all of that. I'm gonna do a lot more talking about how to use this build and stuff like that. So make sure you pay attention to what I'm actually doing on the screen. Um, so you so you'll be able to um, see exactly how I made this build. But of course, you know I, I chose the one with the most defensive rebounding, of course. But um, the reason why I, I decided to make this build is a playmaking glass cleaner. And the reason why I decided to make this build is because it can grab. You can have somebody that, like I said, it, it, if you're running with shooters, like I don't know how everything's gonna be structured. I'm sure there's gonna be people trying to run two centers this year and stuff like that. But um. If you run it, if you if you in the park and you run with a guard who's a shooter or whatever, and you run with a center because um, of course it's the power four. But if you run with a big center who's a shooter, this build is like the ultimate cheese because more than likely the the other guy on the other team is not gonna be six ten or six eleven. They're gonna be more so six five because if they're playing double shooters or double guards or whatever, they're gonna be like six five, six six, six seven, whatever. But and so you're gonna have an advantage over them as far as getting the rebounds whenever the center shoot, whenever the other dude shoot. And um, once we get to the badges, you're going to see that you can kind of make this build do what you want it to do. Like anything you want to do. If you want it to be strictly a defender, if you want to be strictly a rebounder, or if you want it to turn into like a rebounding, glass cleaning, post score, you can do that. And I'll show you exactly what I mean by that once we get later on into the video. But as you can see starting out, the speed is a um, 75, acceleration is a 70. Speed is 75, acceleration is a 70. Um, you can mess around with the weight, you, however you want to make the weight. Um, but for the most part, we want to stay. We want to stay in the 70 range. With any build is in the any build is 610 or above, try to stay in the 70 range with the speed because more than likely anybody you're checking, you're going to be. You're going to be able to, um, you're going to have them by like 30, 35 um, on the speed and acceleration. Trust me, the builds I've seen, people have been so happy about the builds. Well, they happy they got 30 defensive badges, 30 slashing or playmaking badges. But you look at their speed and it's like a 40. Like, look at this guy's speed. It's a 75. You know, so you can see me on the chart, just finesse the chart a little bit. Of course, you know, you got to finesse the chart to see that if, if you take something down with your badges in that category, stay the same or will they improve? If they stay the same, you can take a couple things down from the steel. You, you can add those attributes somewhere else. So as you see right now, I got eight, 18 defense and rebounding, 16 playmaking. Um, I, think I, sh I think I may have got around... Uh, 15 finishing, I believe, but I think it was 13. But like always, I make my I make all my builds built. But you can see, look at the speed as he goes up. It's a power four. Look at the speed. I can make I could have made him six seven, but I chose not to. Could have made him six eight, which would put his speed at a 79, which would be real really difficult to actually deal with for any for any big. But I chose to stick stick around the 610 area. 610, 611 area. That way, the speed didn't take a major hit because more than likely, this build is going to be checking the big centers. You can see the vertical. The vertical is going to be somewhere in the 60s, 
Um, also, you see uh, Twitter. Make sure to, um, to subscribe to my Twitter. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube. Uh, make sure to um, subscribe to my Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. Subscribe to my YouTube. You know. And um, here's the weight. <coughs> you see me just messing around with the weight. Just to see where I can get the weight. Now, if you wanted to put the weight back up, you could. You know what I'm saying? If you wanted to put the weight up. Like, I left him at 190 just so he'd be finesse. Because he's going to have, have playmaking in his um in his archetype and his build. But uh, you, you could you could put him back up to however you, the, the weight you want to put him up to. The only thing you'll take a little hit on is a little bit of the acceleration and a little bit of the vertical. You see the wingspan? Um, I was going to sit up there and um, I, I wanted to. I, I thought about making a wingspan shorter. But then I thought, well, you know what? I'm not going to make his wingspan shorter. I'm going to make his wingspan not as long as possible, but long. So now we already got the glass. That we're, we're a glass clean playmaker. You see the two options we can choose from? Um, so what I chose on this was um, the playmaking takeover. <clears throat> but you can see we made a playmaking glass cleaner similar to Kenyon Martin, uh, Cal Kuzma, and Julius Randle. I don't know if anybody's made this bill. I've seen a couple people make a Cal Kuzma bill, but I don't know if anybody made this certain bill because I haven't seen nobody with a video of a Power 4 um, playmaking glass cleaner. Now we're going to put them all the way to 99. Now once we get into the badges, once we get into the badges, I'm going I'm to break some things down and explain some stuff for you. Um, like I said, just pay attention to what I'm doing on the screen. You could put badges Wherever you want to put them, you, you can choose whatever badges you want, depending on how you want this player to work for you. There's no certain way to put the badges. You know, if you want, if you like shooting, on shooting, I always put green machine. If I got one shooting badge, I'm putting green machine, hit consistent, help you hit consistent green. Now, with the playmaking, I'm a, I'm going to choose diver because I'm going to grab, I'm, I'm going to be grabbing, I'm going to be grabbing the boards. I'm going to be, um, but as you can see, the playmaking badges I'm putting on this build, I'm gonna put the build, I'm gonna put the badges on. It's gonna help me get the rebound, kick out, and help. Plus, I'm gonna do the the quick first step, unpluggable to it. You just can't steal the ball from him whenever you want to. I'm not gonna work on any badges doing dealing with space creating. I'm not gonna do anything because I'm not really worried about creating space. I'm just worried about getting the board and stuff. So you see the post spin technician. I put that on. Um, I put that on go. That way, if I want to get the board and back down the defender, you know, do a postman, do postman technician on him, I can do that. I'm going to put the Lob City passer on go. And the reason I'm putting that on go is so I can effectively throw oops to whoever, the, the big man, the little man. If, if I use this build for pro am rec, I will have that in my arsenal. So, it, basically, you the badges will just tell, show you. The badges, is, you can put the, equip the badges to your dude. Um, just to fit your play style, you know. I know you don't necessarily have to have um, all the flashy passers, all all the handles for days. He's not going to be handling the ball like that, so I don't really need the handles for days badge. You know, I don't need the break starter badge because um, I just like I said, I went for the game to come out. Um, like I said, you just want to choose which badges um, you feel like equips your playing style with that build. You know. So this is the best. These are the best badges for playmaking that equip. Now, when it comes to defense, I'm, I'm put all. I'm put every defensive badge that I'm interested in starting out on bronze. After that, then I'm like I said. Then I'm gonna go through, upgrade what I want to upgrade, take away what I want to take away. That's how I always do my badges. Now, as you can see, the moving truck. You see, I did the post spin technician with the playmaking badge. So I'm going to upgrade the moving truck badge. I should, I wanted it on Hall of Fame, but I think I left it on gold. And the reason why I did the moving truck because it gives you the ability to back down your defender. Uh, back down your defender. Um, you know what I'm saying? Bully him in the paint. Of course, I'm going to do the Intimidator gold. Um, I don't uh, pick. I think I did pick. I think I did pickpocket Hall of Fame. Um I think I did pickpocket Hall of Fame. See now, you see, I'm a, I got the clamps on the Hall of Fame. Clamp, I think clamps are stand on Hall of Fame. Um, <coughs> brick wall is just for screens. Um, so, but like I said, you can rearrange the badges however you want to arrange the badges to fit your play style, to fit what you what you to fit what you um, 
to fit your uh, your build. See, if I wanted to be a straight like defensive person who help who help pick up, help trap, and and, and that's what I wanted to mainly focus on. I would have did the trapper. I would have did probably the pogo stick. Um, I would did the post move lockdown. See, I didn't even add nothing to the post move lockdown, but you can see what I did. But like I said, you can rearrange the badges however you want to rearrange the badges. I was kind of rushing. Now with the uh, with the finishing, I did everything that uh, helps with the, uh, the the moving truck and the uh, and the post bin technician. So you see, I did a back back the back down punisher. You know what I'm saying? So I did the contact finisher, the giant slayer, relentless finisher. I did the drop stepper on bronze, I believe, or silver. I may I may have adjusted them, but you see, I have the badges. You see, you see why I started with it, with the playmaking. I started with the post-spin technician, then I went to the defense with the back-down trucking, and then I went all the way to the, the finishing with the back-down punisher. So I'm really focused on getting the board, uh, backing my man down, and doing stuff of that nature. But like I said, the, you can make, you can add what, add what badges go to your play style. You know, you just don't. That's that's one thing that people's gonna um, people's gonna have to learn when you're making these builds. Um, make make add the badges that go to your play style, um, and that will help you assess how how you're playing with your guy. But uh, hopefully, I helped y'all. Hopefully, I helped y'all make a godly build with good speed. Um, make sure to drop a sub once again. Leave a comment in the comment section below. And I think this may be the last build video until NBA 2K20 officially drops. But like always, man, I'm YPD Walls, and I appreciate y'all, man. And I'm out.